This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rangers, the show where I take all the tech rumors from the week and I smash them and condense them into one tech rumored show so you know what's coming, what could be coming, what is potential to possibly definitely come sometime in the next days, weeks, months, or maybe even years. Up this week, the old stalwart iPhone 6 and the Galaxy S5, even though it's already been announced, makes a triumphant return to Rumor Roundup. Let's get started. So the Galaxy S5 makes a triumphant return to Rumor Roundup this week because its camera module may cause a delay or supply constraint. So you better just get in line right now if you're gonna want a Galaxy S5, like right now. Stop the video and just go camp out. Uh, according to ET News, citing industry sources, the Chinese site is claiming Samsung's lens yield for the Galaxy S5 camera are just 20 to 30 percent, which could potentially lead to delays in Galaxy S5 production, and even its launch is expected to occur around the globe sometime in April. ETN News adds that mass production of the 16 megapixel camera was initially supposed to start last month, but has already been delayed thanks to the complex process required to produce a camera module. So in an effort to keep the Galaxy S5 production on track, Samsung's purchasing officers are reportedly literally camping out at lens supplier factories. However, the company expects production to pick up in the near future despite this early speed bump. However, we will be able to increase the yield within a short period of time, an anonymous Samsung insider told ETN News. So Samsung still hasn't announced an official release date for the Galaxy S5 in the US. If you remember, all they said was it's going to be available on all major carriers sometime in April. If the rumor this week is true, the company might face a super tough choice. Should they delay the launch into late April or into May, or release a limited number of units which will quickly sell out? Neither option is super great, although Samsung should be able to iron out any manufacturing issues hopefully quickly. I would wager we'll see a date slip maybe from early April to middle end of April and we'll see normal supplies for Galaxy S5. So maybe don't worry as much as I hyped it up to be. iPhone 6 production is about to get rolling along. At least if you believe the folks at China Times, they recently said that Pegatron, which always sounds like a bad transformer to me, and Foxconn received orders for the iPhone 6, and that the former will start producing the new iPhone at its new Kunshan factory, where the company also builds laptops, set-top boxes, and other consumer electronic sundries. Uh, Reuters also reportedly cited a report from the Commercial Times that suggested Pegatron will soon start hiring additional staff to build the iPhone 6 at its plants in China. In January, another story said that Pegatron would handle about 50% of the iPhone 6 production, suggesting that Apple is moving more responsibility away from Foxconn, which has struggled in the past to create enough units to meet demand and also crazy human health concerns. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the iPhone 6 is expected to offer a larger screen, although reports on the screen size have been scattered at best. Uh, most pundits, expert people just seem to be guessing, seem to think the iPhone is going to be a 4.7 inch screen, although we've also heard rumors of 4.5 and fingers crossed, a 5.5 inch display, uh, a new AA processor is also expected, uh, and TSMC and Samsung have both allegedly received orders to build the chip. Yes, that Samsung. Evidently, they're just like the frenemies. Like, they just talk nice to each other and then just talk behind each other's back once nobody's looking. And speaking of iPhone 6, ESM China claims that Apple is going to outfit the iPhone 6 with more sensors. More sensors equal more better. Uh, so specifically, the analyst Sun Cheng Chu said that Apple is going to add sensors to monitor outside humidity, temperature, and pressure. These are probably more useful for weather data than information on your health, but the report leaves the door open just a teeny tiny crack for other sensors as well. It wouldn't be totally out of the question, I don't think, to add a heart rate monitor, for example, and Samsung's already done that with the Galaxy S5. Although before people jump down my throat, to be fair, you can already install a third-party app that uses the camera's LED to monitor your heart rate on the iPhone too. The most compelling aspect of the whole report, though, at least for me, uh, is that if true Apple is working to make the iPhone one heck of a monitoring tool from the weather to hopefully even our health. So big disclaimer time, we haven't covered any reports from ESM China before, but it is rumor roundup, so it qualifies. So we don't really know how much weight this rumor holds. Uh, we do know, though, that it seems likely that Apple's putting uh, a new focus on monitoring our health and the new sensors on the iPhone, really no matter what they end up doing. Uh, there'll be a lot of sensors. Maybe they'll sense my happiness, my sadness, and I'll turn colors like those old school mood rings. That'd be pretty sweet. 
may exhale for just a minute to thank our friends, good people, and sponsors at Netflix. You know them, you love them, you should already be watching them. They've got some of the best original programming going. I'm looking at you, House of Cards. I'm looking at you, Orange is the New Black. And of course, you can catch up on all the movies or TV shows you might have missed. You can watch Netflix on pretty much any game console now, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Nintendo Wii, Wii U, or really any mobile device you might have laying around. Uh, to get a free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash buffalo. Again, netflix.com slash buffalo. And do yourself a favor, please watch House of Cards. So thank you guys for watching the episode of Room Around Up. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And of course, check us out at technoandbuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you guys next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.